going? My name's Kyle Morrison. I'm the Artistic Director of Yuriak and Aboriginal Theatre Company. Uh, I come from the Goreng and Wadjuri and Budimaya language groups. Budimaya and Wadjuri come from the Midwest and Goreng from the Southwest. And I started performing as an actor at 11 and I started directing theatre at 26. So I've been directing for a few years now. I think I said to myself when I was about 17 or 18 that I, that I was going to be the artistic director of Yuri Ark and, and I always had said to myself that Honey Spot was going to be one of the shows that I'd, that I'd actually put on first. I'd always said that I'd wanted to do a Jack Davis first so that way you know, as a theatre company we can go back to our roots as, as, a, as a Noongar theatre company and, and as Noongar artists. I, I thought we needed to go back to, to somewhere where it all began and um, for me personally um, one of the first shows that I ever read, one of the first shows that I ever took part in was actually Honey Spot when I was 12 years old. Yeah, uh, we did it as part of a school performance when I was going to Kungamaya Primary School up in Kungamaya, which is now Clayton View Primary School, uh, Bali's. And we, we did it as an end of year production. We, you know, we had help from teachers and, and parents and we did a, a dance piece with it as well. And, and I just, remember how, 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 how it brought everybody together, how everybody in the audience, everybody in the cast, everybody that had anything to do with this show, it, it really did make f people feel more together. It really did bring black and white, old and young, boys and girls. It really did you know, encapsulate uh, the message of reconciliation b before anything, I've, before I even heard of the word reconciliation. I had an idea of it as a 12 year old from performing Honey Spot. As director, my, my, my job is, is to watch the overall vision of the play. Like, um, I, I talk to designers about, I mean the set designer, about how, how we're going to set out the stage, what, what kind of um, backdrops we're going to use. Are we going to use trees or, or not? Are we going to have you know, doors or walls and windows or are we going to have it set in the bush? So we would I'd talk with the, with the designer and I'd, I'd tell him things like, I'd want it to be kept quite open so we've got plenty of room to dance and to move. And, and, I'd, and I'd also talk about what kind of colours we can use because you know there's, there's a whole idea of, of, we, of us being in the bush so we can't really have it grey and, and black and white. We'd need to have browns and greens and you know, colours of the bush because that's where we're setting it. And then I'd also talk to the costume designer about how that works, you know, how the costumes look in front of that beautiful set. And then also I need to talk to the, to the music designer. So I'm, I'm actually the, the, the glue that, that brings all these people together. I'm, I'm making sure that, that, the, that the sound design fits in with the costumes and the costumes fits in with the set. And then I, I need to make sure that the cast fit in with the costume, the set and the sound. And then to look at you know, what kind of dancers we need and, and talk to the choreographer about what I see as, as the end product, you know, is it, is it more Aboriginal dance or is it more ballet? Is it a blending, which is, which is what Honey Spot is about, is about bringing those two cultures together. So in terms of costume design, we wanna, we wanna bring that aspect back into it, where we have, you know, traditional um, Noongar style of, of dress when they're dancing, which is very minimal, of course, but we, we also have the, the traditional Western style of dancing with ballet. So, we're looking at how we fuse those costumes together, how we fuse those sounds together, how we fuse those 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 um, those aesthetics together. So those colours, those those the look of the, the, the country or the or the um, or the interior of houses and, and things like that. So just having a, a bit of an overall view of, of how the whole play is going to work out, because as actors, their job is to look at their character and to really make sure that they get that character right and, and what's and their lines right and their movements right and the, you know the sound designer has to make sure he's got his stuff right and and so and so so my job is to to keep an overall look at it and to you know it's if if, if this play was a footy team i'd be the coach i'd make sure that the full forward was doing his right thing i'd make sure that the half backs were kicking to the centerman because when i played footy i was a wingman and nobody kicked to me but um we won't we won't go there <laughs> this is the first play from jack davis that was actually written for a young audience i mean Pre Honey Spot, Jack Davis had written plays about you know mission life and 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 how hard it was for Indigenous people during a time when when we weren't even citizens. How how hard life was at Moor River settlement and and how hard it was to keep 
that culture alive when, when, when segregation and institutionalisation was, was a big part of government policy towards Indigenous people. Jack Davis talked about how do we keep that, 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 those stories alive? How do we keep our dreaming alive? How do we keep ourselves alive as well? And, you know, and the struggles and the, and the things that take place within that environment. And Honeyspot was a shift in, in thought from that, in that Jack wanted to really bring people together, you know, because Honeyspot isn't about the differences. It's about what, what, what makes us human, what brings us together. And so, you know, and Jack Davis hadn't written for children. So what, what had happened was during rehearsals of uh, No Sugar or The Dreamers in, in, in late 70s, early 80s, there was a young boy in, in, the, in the cast called John Moore. And the director of the play, Andrew Ross, his daughter was at ballet. So um, afternoons at rehearsals, there was this natural play between a young Aboriginal boy and a young ballet student. And Jack Davis just thought, well, you know, this, this, is, this is what the kids are wondering about each other today. And so he wrote around these two young people who, who, who in a real life situation were very curious about you know, what is Aboriginal dance you know, to a ballet student and what is ballet to, to a young man who, who, who does traditional dance. So you know, just seeing that and seeing how, how, you know, how interested they were in, in, into each other's culture, that you know, there's, there's, there's a play there. And then he set it you know, in, a, in, a, in a bush clearing, in a, in a place that's in, in a special place. You know, it's, it's the, the honey spot is, is really a, a special place in the bush. It's, it's, it brings people together. And, and um, I really want to play with the idea that, that, that you know, traditionally the honey spot was a special place. And there's, you know, we don't really talk about it being a special place, but it's, there's, there's, there's something about this place. The place has got its own thoughts and its own feelings and I really want to set the environment as, a, as another character and I think that Jack Davis allowed me to do that by writing about these two people who were so interested about each other's cultures and able to and, and being able to, to actually give each other information on that and, and learn from each other and you know it's, there's, there's only one way you're going to learn anything and that's by asking and that's by learning and, and you know talking to other people and you're not going to learn anything about ballet if you don't know anything about it if you don't talk to anybody. So it's, it's just from that interplay between two young people, he got this idea about this whole play about how, how through their, their curiosity of each other's culture and dance that these two young people were able to make a friendship and not only bring um, their friendship together but also bring their families together and also you know mend some of those broken fences, even just if it's between two families. But, and then uh, that's, a, that's a beautiful way to start. You know, it's, you start small if you can reconcile with your own neighbour or if you can reconcile the difference and, and, and find commonalities with, 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 with a, a non-Indigenous student or an Indigenous student in your school, then you're already making reconciliation happen because you, you, you only have to start small. And I think that's, that's, that's the power of, of um, Jack Davis's play this time is that he actually really had an idea of how reconciliation can work in an artistic sense and I think it's portrayed here and I really want to honour that by making sure that, that, that we get the blend in the dance, the costumes, the set, the sound and, and also the dialogue as well. Yeah.